Good morning, Facebook family and friends, my faithful loyal YouTube subscribers. This is part three of a video we've been all here all day recording. Um, but Cynthia D. Perry, she is a native of Detroit. She lives here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. She's lived here for 20 years, mm -hmm. but she still uses GPS to yes, get around I do. town. I sure do. It's because Atlanta and this crazy ass system will have two streets on different parts of town with the same name southeast or northwest come on now. now i live here too now i've been here for almost 30 years i don't need no gps to get well let town. me just say this i hate being lost and i'd rather follow gps to get lost because i get pissed <laughs> when i get lost i can't stand that it. gps had you running all over this damn town yeah it will but at least i'll be getting closer to my destination with gps than on my own because trust me all right so you were on facebook and had this major facebook <sighs> fight with somebody or a discussion fight discussion. well i had it was really more of a discussion and see, I, I had fights on facebook well i've had some fights on facebook when we talk about that not my president 45 but anyway we ain't gonna talk about him yes <laughs> i've had some I've, i did and, and, and it just i what i just wanted i just wanted this this individual uh, to to get another point of view, what it was, this, this individual was on there, and he was complaining that his wife had called him stupid or whatever because he didn't want to allow his child to go and visit that child's sibling's father with the siblings. And the reason for that being is apparently his wife um, had had two children before the the child that they have together. And uh, so the, let me get this straight: his wife that he's married to now mm -hmm. has two previous children by another man exactly and now they're married and they have a biological child right they have a biological child and, and apparently he didn't want the biological he didn't want his biological child to go with his brothers and his stepbrothers and sisters right. to visit their father their okay and apparently this this those children were born out of wedlock because he didn't mention that this was her ex-husband she just he just said the ex okay so well, my, the, the issue for me, he was mad because the wife said that he was being childish and stupid for not allowing their child to go with his siblings. And I sort of agree, I agree with her, mm -hmm. primarily because um, it's, it's being hurtful and, and it could be harmful to their child, the biological child, not allowing them to associate with the siblings. Besides the point, those siblings do live in the house together mm -hmm. with them now. So all, so the father, the, the couple that's married. Mm -hmm. And the stepchildren live with him. Live with him. And with and their biological child. And their biological child. So there's the the two kids that, that are not his are going to visit their father, who apparently was just a boyfriend or whatever that that they had. He's the, he's the baby. He's the daddy. He's the daddies of those the, the two older kids. Two, okay. And my he was just a, the the father that doesn't want the child that they have together to to hang out or go with that man. And my thing is. What type of issue do you have with this man? Have you ever talked to him? Have you ever come to an agreement on how you ought to raise the kids, what's acceptable and what's not acceptable? Um, I was thinking, too, that maybe he has some underlying suspicions about his wife and this ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. If so, that conversation needs to be had. Don't deprive the child of being with his brothers and sisters simply because you don't know or like or you suspect something of this other man. If you do, then you need to be bad man enough to step up and ask one the wife about it, and to confront the man about it. All right, because this is a common problem in our community now. A lot of women are having children. A lot of men and women are having children. Yes, men and women. Mm -hmm. um, partners. Mm -hmm. um, they get uh, women with five different fathers, uh, mm. five different fathers of their children. Right. I mean, you have all these and fathers that have got got six or seven baby mamas, babies, daddies, and all these. So this old mess. This is a cultural <sighs> issue. Well. This is an issue I think is causing some severe problems in our community. Well, it's, it it to, I don't I mean I don't have that many uh, white single mother friends. I have know of a few, but yeah, in in the black community, I find it's a, it's a lot of us that have this situation going on. And is it a, is it a good situation? Is it a bad situation? Or is it just the reality of the world that we're living in today? It's, it's a, for me, my opinion, I I don't think it's a good situation specifically for the children. Okay. Um, to have multiple parents. To have multiple parents and have different babies, mamas over here and daddies, babies over here. You know, I have a, a, a connection with uh, someone who has um, uh, children, and the father of their children is the father of three or four other mamas' children. So they have child support to do with those three or four other mamas' children and these children, so they wind up having 
you know, they can't get much money out of the father because he's got children over here, got children over there, blah, 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 blah. blah. So why did these women allow this mess to happen? Because obviously there's people know, who are allowing themselves to get impregnated by you know, this for, man for, to run around. I, and I don't know children. why they would do that. I personally, in my opinion, I, I don't, I know mistakes happen, but you would think after one or two times this happened, you would want to not continue to be mothering and having babies and whatever, whatever. I, I, you know, I, I try not to be too judgmental, but I just think about the children. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're putting these children in situations where they can't get um, the things that they actually the need. Support that they you need. know, they, they don't have proper support. You know, they financially, or financially, physically, or physically emotionally. You know, mothers are angry because they got all these babies over here. They take it out on the children. The children don't feel loved. They don't get the type of attention they need. They don't do well in school. They don't well, do well in school. Could that in their be life the reason why this man didn't want his children, his biological child, to be? He never. He never. He never. He never elaborated on. Well, he might on feel anything. that. The, he, he, did you think? I mean, I, well, we you just. Do you think he might have felt that this person, this father, was irresponsible? Well, if he did, then it was. It would behoove him. To step up and say, hey, man, you know, let's me and you have a conversation because, you know, we, I'm taking care of your kids and my kid and they're all brothers and sisters and we want them to have a good life and we need to get together and have a plan on how we're going to raise these kids, this, that, and other, so that we can clear the air and make sure that these children are taken care of. But don't just deprive the son, their biological child, of having uh, experiences and being with his brothers and sisters because you don't like the, all right, so the baby's let's, daddy. Let's, let's flip the script for a minute. Let's say that you were married to a husband and he wanted, you all had a biological child together, mm -hmm. you're married, you, and he, but he, you are, he had other children by another woman. Right. Are you comfortable with your biological child going to hang with this other woman? With well, I wouldn't, I, I would try my best to avoid that issue because by avoidance, I mean, I would definitely, as I'm ad advocating for this person to do, this man to do, Talk to the mother of those other two children and try to, to come to her. a compromise. Get to know her. To try to come to a compromise as to what we can do for the welfare of the children. Now, true enough, it's not always going to work out. Y'all may not even like each other, but for the benefit of the children, you know, that's my point. I think um, for the benefit of the children, you should learn how to get along with one another. If and if you can't get along, at least have a concrete and a, and a, and a, and a agreed upon plan mm -hmm. as to how we're going to raise these children. What's allowed, what isn't allowed. You know how you. Of course, you know you're going to have somebody say, "In my house, my kids can do this." Blah 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 blah. Those are the things that you need to work out. Those are the agreements that need to work out to make sure that these children know so where they stand okay. and what they can and cannot do in each other's so house. So you're saying you would be okay with your biological child going to stay with another woman? I, I think I would if I knew your, if I knew this ex. woman's plan, if I knew this woman, if I knew the kind of heart she had or what she was trying to do or how she treated the kids. You want to know these things because you don't want. I wouldn't think any mother would want their child to go any place where they felt like their child was going to be abused or misused or not taken care of. So, of, of course, when you got different parents, when you got all these different parents, it's right. all these. So, you, right. you, you, you think that it's, you it's should checkers automatically. Out here. It's just checkers. So, the, these, should all these parents be meeting each other? If you got for five me, different, if I, if, if me, I'm dating a woman who has five different children, right. like five different men. Right. Do I need to meet all these five different guys? Well, for me, in my personal, for me, for my satisfaction, mm -hmm. I would want to know where my child is and who these people are that my child is going to be around so and associated with. I have to meet with. all five. I um, would want to meet them. Okay. That's now, fine. now maybe somebody else would think it's it's crazy, but I would want to know that my child, wherever my child is, and wherever my child is associated, whoever my child is associated with, that they're in a good right, environment. So, it goes back to the questions I asked you. So, if <clears throat> if I, this is for example, I'm married to you, and I didn't have ten different children by ten different women, do you want to meet these women? I would like to. Okay. Uh, I would like to. I would like to be able to say that I know that the heart of these people. I know, hopefully, how they would treat these. Is it a children. must? I think it is a must for me. Now, okay. maybe that's the problem. It's not a must for everybody else. My main focal point is to make sure that the child is taken care of, that they're in a good environment, that they're not being hurt or they're not being neglected one way or the other. Okay. That would be the whole point for me. Mm -hmm. You would know, you, would your daddy got to have 10 different children by 10 different women? No. <laughs> Let's, let's get that straight off the of jump. No. Mm -mm. No, baby. No, no. You, you're too virile for me. Too virile for me. I don't know. I'm not finna date no man. He's got no 10, 10. Do you have kids? No. No. Did you ever no. want any? I did. I did. And I made that 
much they thought I was going to be and thank God I wasn't, you know, I, and I sort of kind of missed that, you know, what a child might have been at this point, but you know, it's not in the cards, it wasn't God's plan, so I ain't gonna worry about it, but, um, were you I, ever married? No. Okay. No, I never, I, I thought I was going in that direction, but if I'm going to be married, I don't want to have to raise a nigga. <laughs> okay, I don't want to have to raise him. He need to have his shit together. He's not gonna come up and come back. Oh, you that. come from a totally different different race. There have yes, been I some did. great guys back then that you met back in the day. I did. I met some great guys 70s, back then, 80s, and 80s, yes, 80s. I did. I mean, it's a different environment. It's a different environment. It's a different environment. They, they, they what were was both, the problem? Um, I think part of the problem was a maturity level. Uh, part of the problem was sometimes they were lazy. Uh, part of the problem was. Uh, they had a do what I say mentality, which I'm not that girl. Let me just get that straight. I'm not that girl. Oh, so you weren't gonna take this? You, you I'm that. not the girl that's gonna sit back in the corner and let you be over me about anything. We in this thing together. We gonna communicate. You gonna like what I like sometimes, and not sometimes, vice versa. It's a give and so take. So you situation. had relationships that didn't quite go the way you. Had. Right. I had relationships that wanted to be. Uh, too overbearing, too overpowering, too too uh, regimented for me. But none of these guys had children by other women. No. That you know of. No, not that I know of. That's the key. Not that you know of. Because, you know, everybody's going to tell you the truth about other things. Everybody's not going to tell you what they're doing. And when I can't trust somebody, trust is a big key in relationships. Trust is very big for me. Trust and understanding is really big for I don't me. Know, and I could be wrong. But I'm trying to think back in that era. I don't think a lot of guys were running around having children by so um, different women. Like I, today. Not, well, not like today. Today it's like come what may, do well, do who you do, do what you do, and do as many as you can do that allow you to do what you do. I don't believe in that. I think you sh if you're looking for that right person, um, you know, as they say, save yourself for the right one. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. I mean, every, we're like men. We like to have a little, mm, too. But I'm not going to be out here running all over creation and just having with whomever, however, whenever, what, and for what whatever. I think about all this, the, in our community, we have a, a problem with a million single black mothers raising children alone. Oh, yeah. With that's, the man and, that's, and that's the issue. I mean, my thing is, if you're good enough to lay down and make a baby, then you need to be good enough to take care of that baby. If you don't want to take care of the baby, then stop making babies. You know, you complain about... Uh, uh, not children not should, having. Should these women be trying to get married first before having children? Well, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say that. I mean, because sometimes you have do have mistakes, and sometimes you know that's you know that's just what happens. You I think, think it's better for the child first before bringing a child into this world. I think for me, marriage should come first before having a child. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and be have my morality on everybody. I just think. My whole thing is for the sake of the child. If you're going to bring a child into this world, bring a child into this, into this world with good intentions and helping the child and loving the child and teaching the child how to be a good human being. Having a thousand kids all over the place, you know, it's, it's a difficult task for any one woman or any one person to do. I mean, it's difficult to take care of yourself these days. No less three and four and five and six kids. That's just, you know, that's difficult. That's another reason well, why. It goes back to the question that we started with the, the father who did not want his child to go visit the other. Right. Because he was responsible enough to marry this woman. Right. So I'm, I'm thinking he's a responsible person. So maybe there's, there's a, there could be something going on in the background. There could be something going on in the background. That's exactly what I said. individual that he just don't right. want his son around. Yes. He could have had some, like like we talked about before, maybe he heard some bad inklings from the wife about yeah. him, his character, whatever. If that be the case, I still say there's room for communication. You need to find out what his underlying reason is for why he doesn't trust his child to go with this man. Mm -hmm. Does he think that you and he could probably get back together? Do, do you, do you think good. the child is being abused by this man? Are you jealous of this man? Or are you just simply, like a lot of men, are and the men that I have experienced had been is why I'm not with him today is is my way or the highway. I don't believe in that. And by that I mean he's saying what about him oh, being the that, man that, of the house, what I say go, but that doesn't leave so room for this, compromise this, and I've this, never been that way. And this is why you remain single. This is why I remain single. I think you should When you look back, do you think that was a wise decision? Um there are days, I'm honest, there are days that I would like to have had children. I would like to have had a significant other, but at the cost of my sanity, no. 
You think it would have been that bad for this for somebody, a husband oh, I've been working with some, a job? I, trust me, I've made some mistakes and been with some fools, baby. Don't let me say I haven't. I've been with some fools, and I'm very glad I'm not still with those. They're very same fools. Do you still know any of these guys today? Mm, no, not really. Uh, again, probably me having moved to another city, you know, what I left back in Nashville, I left back in Nashville. Okay, but you've been here for 20 years now. You ain't met no nice, attractive. I, I thought I had. I really did. I thought I had. Okay. But it wound up that this person um, was a user. Um, uh, he left me in debt. He took my car. Let, you know, oh, God, he just. How long were y'all together? About two years. Okay. About two years, I really thought we got to the point where I could trust and, and believe in and, and well, fail for. Two years is a short period of time now. Uh, two years is a long time for me because I usually don't give you that much. of, of After a year, I feel like you and I should be beginning to trust and know each other well enough not to do some of the things that he did. Mm -hmm. You know, so, uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm still old enough to, to, to you know, me and go and do what I want to do, but it's got to be with the right one. It's got to be the right person. Not gonna be just tough, someone I pick off. Tough to seat. find decent black guys. It is so tough to find, you know, I decent hate to black guys. This is the truth of the matter. Oh, it is. It is. It's a sad truth. So of why matter. did you find your white man yet? What's the problem? Um. Well. You're this the same. Young woman. It's the same problem as the black man. I haven't <laughs> found someone that I'm compatible with. You know, I mean. So you would. I don't want. I'm not trying to say I'm perfect, but there's just so many black things women that need like, to start dating outside of. I have I have some friends that have done that and it's been it worked out very well for them. Okay. Because they actually have found a man that they're compatible with. And for me, if that if it's a green person, if you're compatible with them, you are. Do you think black women are making a mistake just waiting around for a black man? Um, I don't know if it's it's a mistake or their standards are too high or they just haven't met the, the been in the right place at the right time. I think all those circumstances uh, come into matters play. Matters when I'm really trying to figure out when it comes to a relationship. Find a husband to raise your children. Should the rates matter? Well, it, that depends you know, you on that some, individual. You have some black folks who said they would never date outside. Of course you oh. do. Of course you do. And you've had some black folks who have been told for hours and eons by their parents and everybody else that you don't go outside your race. I, pur I purposely don't believe that because I right. believe that everyone is created in the image of God and everyone is, is, is equal. That depends on who you actually are with. Every In every race, there's people you can get along with and people that you can't get along so with. So you would date outside your race? Of course. Okay. I have met some, some, some nice people of, 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 of another race that okay. I've gotten along with very well. Mm -hmm. I have I have had relationship with white guys. Okay. But for the same reason that didn't work with the black guys. For whatever reason, it just didn't work out. You sure you're not the problem in this mess? Well, some <laughs> people might think so. Some people might think so. And that's their opinion and they're welcome to their opinion. Okay, I'm not big I'm not big headed up thinking everything is just not on me. Did I you, may have had some issues that have been on me. When you look back over the years in your dating relationships, did you make some mistakes along the way? Oh, of course. Definitely. I'm, you know, I'm not perfect. I would like to be perfect. You know, there's a lot of things about me that I might want to change. But one of the things I know is I am who I am. Mm -hmm. I have uh, um, things that I like to have happen in my life and things that I don't like to have happen well, in my life. One of the things life. I like about my YouTube channel is I, like to, I try to re make my channel created around helping people not to make those same mistakes right. that I have made as an individual. Right. So I hope as you build your channel right. and your content that you can look back and say, but let me tell you about what took place in my right. life. And talk. Are you comfortable? Because see, this is the thing oh, about yeah. YouTube. Are you comfortable with discussing these oh, personal yeah. private moments? I'm definitely comfortable. You made mistakes. Definitely and, comfortable. And that information can be used to help other... Right. Know, I mean, I'm going to provide... I will provide information and situations about my life, but I'm not going to give you names of people because I think that's, you know, that's my own private business. But... Mm -hmm. um, like you said, have I dated someone and things didn't work out? Look, there are things that I will accept and things I won't accept and vice versa for those that I have dated. And when I cross the line, it was over for the situation. When they cross the line, it's over for the situation. Everybody has things that happen like that. Yeah, that's true. You know, um, it, it's just that I, everything's not going to be 100%. But I would at least like to get a good 85% of what I want in a person to be there. I don't ever think it's ever going to be 100%. We're always going to have something. Okay, because we're running out of time here. You okay. ever see yourself get married? At this stage of the game... Uh, Are you open to the idea at this stage of the game... <clears> of <throat> getting married? Yeah. Well, he's got to have a lot of money. <laughs> oh, he's definitely got to have muscle. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to have a great sense of humor. He's got to have a decent package. That's important. <laughs> That's important. And he's got to be um, flexible, so to speak. 
But other than that, yeah, I guess I, I guess I would be. But I definitely want to get it. Listen to me. I definitely want to get it done long enough so I can still, you know, mingle and stuff. Because even, you know, even at this age, we still like to mingle. Don't get it twisted. We still like to mingle. <laughs> this is Cynthia D. Perry. You all will be checking out her videos soon. We will get them up on or her channel and get yeah. her channel. Well, she's been trying Look to for Cuddles channel. Talk is coming soon. So we're going to do some more videos over the next few days, uh, some different subject matter and stuff. I, th I think this would be very interesting. I think it's good to get someone. I've been trying to get my mother to do some, something similar. And she's not really, she's not too open to this type of stuff. Well, you know, because yeah. I did interview my mother, though. Right. When I try to get her to talk about other right. stuff, she's, she's still kind of. They well, you that generation be, that above for, your For me, then, you have to be open, willing to open up and share a few things anyway. A few things. All right, so we're out of here. Thank you, Cynthia. I love you, sweetheart. Love you much, baby. Look forward to us working together again and doing some more stuff. Y'all, we out of here. Enjoy your day. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.